was CNN legal analyst James Baker. He was the FBI's general counsel when the FBI Russia investigation began. Jim, thanks so much for being with us. You have lived this, <laughs> and I really mean that, on every level now for well over two years. You've had a night to digest this. The top line that the Russia probe uh, properly predicated, legal and unbiased, your reaction? It was not a hoax. It was not a witch hunt. It was not a coup attempt. There was no sedition. There was no treason. That's not what we were trying to do. This case was about Russia. It was about defending the United States from the Russians, who, as we now know, were engaged in a systematic attack, attempt to attack the United States and disrupt our elections. And that's what they were trying to do, and that's what they're still trying to do. And so we're all still living with that. The FBI was not trying to gain political intelligence on the president or disrupt the political campaign. We wanted to stay as far away from politics as we possibly could. At coming out of the Hillary Clinton matter, we, we were just sick of politics, and we just didn't want to have anything to do with it. We were thrust back into it by the information that we got uh, through or r related to George Papadopoulos. That's why we started the investigation. We felt we had an obligation to do that and that it would have been misconduct, honestly, for us not to pursue the investigation at that point in time, given what we knew. The FBI director, the current FBI director, Christopher Wray, we have some brand new sound on his reaction, again, to that top line finding, no spying, no deep state. Listen to this. Based on the findings in the Inspector General report, is the FBI, was it part of some deep state? Well, I think that's the kind of label that is a disservice to the 37,000 men and women who work at the FBI. That's not a term I would ever use. So the FBI did not spy on the Trump campaign? Well, that's not a term at the FBI we use to describe our work. Do you have any evidence that the FBI targeted the Trump campaign unfairly? I don't. He doesn't. Neither does the inspector general report, despite years of the president suggesting there was a spy inside the campaign. Again, you live this, Jim, and overnight you called on the president to apologize to you and to the FBI and to the country. Why? Because he was wrong with respect to what he said, and what he said was damaging to us personally, and it was damaging to the institution of the FBI, and he, he should step up and do it. That's a, I respectfully request that, that he do that. That's the right thing to do under these circumstances when the facts come out and it proves that, that he was wrong, which the facts do prove that he was wrong, notwithstanding some of these statements, I think, by uh, Attorney General Barr and Mr. Durham. They don't undercut the fundamental conclusions of the, uh, of the Inspector General's report. Well, what about those statements by the Attorney General and, and John Durham, who is a U.S. attorney? The Attorney General said while he respects Horowitz, he basically doesn't agree that there was a legal justification for the investigation. And Durham's reaction was, I'm doing another investigation now, and my evidence, he's suggesting, doesn't comport with what the Inspector General found. That seems unusual. Well, Mr. Durham's statement, let me just take that one first. Mr. Durham's statement is extremely opaque, and I, I can't really figure out what in the world he's actually saying. And so I would have to wait to see, what, you know, to see exactly what he comes up with. I was quite surprised that he did it, that he made that statement. I don't see how uh, doing so really is uh, consistent with the attorney, with, I'm sorry, with the Department of Justice uh, policies, procedures, norms. And it's something that the inspector general criticized us for doing with respect to the Hillary Clinton investigation. So I don't get that one. And the attorney general, look, he's complaining that the FBI started this investigation with, with something like he says, the thinnest of predications or something. Well, we followed the attorney general guidelines that were established in 2008 by uh, President Bush's attorney general. And the, the current attorney general can change those guidelines anytime he wants to if he thinks the predication standard for the FBI to open investigation is too low. He hasn't done that to my knowledge. All right. There were several, multiple errors found of.